In today's video, I'm going to show you two powerful versions of the frequency function. But there is one big difference between them. In the first example, I want to divide this dataset into 10 equal parts. No matter how high the numbers go, we need equal length intervals. Let's use the frequency table function. It's not complicated. The first argument is the range contains data. And the second shows how many equal pieces you want to divide the data. Looks good. Create a basic histogram in seconds to make it even clearer. As you can see, it automatically divides the full range into equal segments. Exactly as many as you asked for. But here is something important. 100% doesn't mean the values max out at 100. The 100% mark always follows the highest value in your data. Even if that's 120, 834, or more. This approach is great when you need a quick statistical overview. There is no need to define intervals. The formula takes care of it. Now, let's look at a case that's way more common in real-world Excel use. This solution is perfect when you already know what value ranges matter to you. Like how many sales happened and in which price category. There's another powerful solution you want to see. Okay, this one will be great. Now, we use free arguments. The range and the lower and upper bounds of your intervals. As expected, the result lines up perfectly. Looks like someone sold a product for 800 bucks. Not bad. Create a basic histogram in seconds to make it even clearer. You don't need equal groups here. You define the categories. And here is what matters. How many values fall into each of your defined intervals? If you want to know what Lambda can do, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned. Thanks for being with us today.